Coming up on Animal Cops Houston. I can't have you melting down. A woman's forced to face facts. She has way too many cats. I just want to express to you my concern of how much ammonia I can smell. Well, I can't smell nothing. An owner seems to be turning a blind eye to his dog's suffering. He's lost a lot more hair. He just can't stop scratching because of all the fleas. He's miserable. That's really going to hurt. They're almost starving, but these horses are still being ridden. Horses look to be in pretty bad shape. And an attempt to rescue a herd of goats gets a mixed reception. He's like, I want to go too. Well, this one's not going to be smart. Okay, before we go in the house, I just want to express to you my concern of how much ammonia I can smell. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. I mean, before we even reach the tree over there, I can smell it pretty bad. Well, I can't smell nothing. Get back, sweetie. Get back, darling. Get back, my baby. It's not very good in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, I'm counting over 15 already. Okay. We got a lot of cats, and I see a lot of skinny cats. Well, yeah. All of them are basically underweight. This one right here, uh, I don't know how long it's actually going to make it. I mean, um, it, it, they all have issues, hair loss issues on their, on their face and their ears. You can see this one. You should never be able to see something like this on a cat. I mean, that's just severely underweight. Some of them may be just good cats, though, because they're all sociable. So that's one good positive thing about all this. None of them are running away from us. She probably took in a couple stray animals, and then they just kept on multiplying. They don't have the funds to go and have them um, spayed or neutered. It basically made them overwhelmed. Now listen, hey, before we get started, I can't have you melting down. You just can't melt down. If, so if you need to go over to your neighbor's house or, or go sit over there at your lawn chair, you need to do that and stay over there, okay? When we're done, I'll come over and talk to you, okay? They're all skin and bones. With the amount of cats in here, it wouldn't take very long for the ammonia smell to, to build up. Um, and for all the cats to get up a respiratory disease. It's very important that we got all of these cats out of there and we get them the medical care that they need so go. we can get them in good homes and get them in good health. But I didn't know I had that many. God knows I didn't. You got your sheriff's department right now okay. that you can always contact closely. Okay. You I always, will. Okay. We'll, we'll do what we can to help you out. All okay? right. All right. All right. Y'all was real nice and polite, and I thank y'all. Just, I just want my kid. I just want them adopted out, or somebody be good to them. You know. That's what. That's what we're here for. And nobody don't you know, be mean to my baby. All right. Let's go. All right. Y'all be careful. She's gonna take control of one cat, but she's under a stipulation that she has to get it spayed. We're gonna monitor the property, make sure that uh, she doesn't have any more cats reproducing, and uh, get in the same situation that she was in.